Welcome to Hotel Okura, your ultimate Japanese five-star luxury getaway in Manila. Hotel Okura Manila is located within Resorts World Manila, the first integrated resort in the Philippines ideal for both business and leisure. It is located across from the airport and has casinos, a shopping center, cinema, and a wide variety of restaurants. Hotel Okura was opened on December 28, 2021 and has 190 guest rooms and suites, one signature fine dining restaurant, one all-day dining restaurant, in-room dining, fitness center, heated lap pool with underwater music and jacuzzi, pool bar, and wellness center. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We just checked in at the newest hotel in Manila. This is Hotel Okura, a Japanese hotel brand. And we are now at the roof deck pool since our check-in time is still at 3 p.m. But we already pre-registered. And in the meantime, uh, we're, we booked a cabana here poolside. And this pool is amazing. It's only four feet deep, but it's uh, heated and they even have a jacuzzi there on the far end which I'm gonna jump into very soon but check take a look at our cabana oh yes Alexandra is already ready to jump in isn't already like very tight in yes I think it'll be fine plus it's only four feet you can stand there so this is our cabana we have welcome drinks as well how are you doing babe and that is Naia Terminal 3 view. Is it full? How's the temperature, Alexandra? It's cold. It's still cold, a little bit. Okay, you can swim and you can touch the ground. It's a beautiful day today. Can't wait to show you our room because it has this special Japanese uh, wooden bathtub. Uh, we have the bar area over here. Views of Metro Manila. Come over here, Alexandra. What? Come over here.
I have to say they have a very nice heated pool over here. Water is lukewarm, but without it, it would be super cold with the breeze here on the 11th floor. You guys enjoying? Yeah. So we're still waiting for uh, check-in. It's around 2.30 p.m. Hopefully within the next 30 minutes. It's 2.50 p.m. We were just advised that our room is ready, so they provided the key cards, and we're gonna head there very soon. Guys, welcome to our Hinokiyu room. 736. The Hinokiyu room is exquisitely appointed with calming Japanese inspiration, combining classic wooden elements, splendid stone finishing, and plush upholstery. The room is equipped with high tech amenities such as a flat screen TV, high speed internet connectivity, multimedia room controls, an espresso machine, and Japanese bidet. The highlight of this room is a custom-made aromatic Japanese cypress hinoki tub, which creates an authentically Japanese relaxing retreat at the end of your day. The room is also decorated with subtle Japanese-inspired motifs, such as the origami crane sculpture and the tsuboniwa, a traditional Japanese pocket garden.
I am really digging the Zen vibes of this room. The air conditioning is super powerful and I love how all the controls are all digital. And we have a 55 inch LED TV as well. Bed is quite comfy. And I can't wait to get that Hinoki tub started. What do you think, Alexandra? I think I want to try the Hinoki tub. Let's see how it's like. Well, guys, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the room thus far. It's my first time to use a Hinoki cedar wood tub from Japan. So let's turn on the water. So over here, you are not supposed to use any bath soaps, bath soaps, bath bombs, bath oils, or milk. No, just the hot water. Water coming out now is just lukewarm. But I guess it's gonna start to get hotter. This might take a good 10 minutes to fill up. Do you want cappuccino? Yes, it's cappuccino time. Yay. From the Nespresso machine. Yay. Unlimited Nespresso, guys. Take advantage. After that bath, now we're just chilling, having the fresh fruit platter. And some coffee. Afternoon. Afternoon. We're back poolside, same cabana, and I think uh, sunset should be coming up quite soon. It's 5.15 p.m. Looks like a Naia Terminal 3 sunset, a little bit of Manila Bay. Oh, so it's margarita time. How is the temperature? Okay. So for happy hour, they have buy one, take one on local beers. So we're having a Cerveza Negra and a San Miguel Light and possibly after margaritas. Cheers, sexy. Cheers. Ah, oh, ice cold. I wish it was a real glass though, a chilled glass, but it's okay, the beer is cold. Mm. I haven't had sun big light in ages. Even more longer, right? Must have been more than a year. Nice local beer options. Wow! This pool is amazing at night. I love the lighting here. Look at those LED lights all around. And then you have these other lights at the bottom that go on and off. It's such a beautiful pool at night. And look at even the hot tub area. Wow, it's shimmering. Yeah, look at it.
This has to be one of the very best roof deck bubble pools in Manila. The best part about this, it's heated, baby. Oh yeah. Alexandra, what do you think about this bubble pool? I love it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I love it too, I have to say. I love the lighting. The temperature is just perfect. It's lukewarm. It's like a dream to swim in. There's nobody here. We have the whole pool to ourselves. Don't drink us. Don't drink us. Don't jinx us. <laughs> Any person could come here, so don't jinx us. Okay. Are you gonna swim? I am. I'm here. Oh, yeah. Soaking it in, guys. And the bar is waiting. Hey, guys, it's time for margaritas, and I'm here with bartender Renz who's gonna make us their margaritas okura style. Bartender Renz you've been a bartender for five years now right? Uh, yes. Oh yeah proper salt rimmed yeah. cocktail glass half, half and of course uh, I'm gonna put some ice and I love that they use Jose Cuervo Silver and Control. Yep. Watch this. Whoa! Put It's awesome that you guys use real tequila because a lot of uh, hotels and other bars they use El Hombre, right. which is not real course, tequila. Hotel Okura is about quality, quality yeah. of service, quality of drinks. It's very important, otherwise you might get a hangover. Of course. There you go. And extra strong, please. <laughs> there you go. Yes. We'll move on with our control. Control is a proper orange liqueur, and it's way better than triple sec yes, when you're it's making way, way uh, margarita. And of course, our lime juice, fresh lime juice, okay. one and our sugar cane. That's nice to use sugarcane instead of simple syrup. Yes, we cook it at the kitchen. That's excellent. So, so my body right here is going to make a sake colada. Sake oh, colada. nice. There you go. How about a little tap? There you go. I like the way you move your body. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, it's a little cold. There you go. <laughs> About a little top. You think it's too hard? There you go. Colada. Okay. 
Perfect. That looks wonderful. Of course, I'll re -barnish. Here you go. Our classic margarita. Perfect. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Enjoy your drink. Will do. All right. Guys, look at this view right here. That ain't a roof deck pool. I don't know what is. This margarita is so refreshing. Oh, that was made perfectly. And with top quality alcohol, you can't go wrong. Uh, how is your mango shake? Very cold. And it's very sweet. And it's so yummy. We're back in the room for our second Hinoki tub experience. I am really absorbing this room and loving it. Getting our Hinoki tub ready once again. After that happy hour, this is so soothing. This waterfall experience with Alexandra gently putting some hot water over my hand. Oh, this is amazing. This is perfect right before dinner. Ah. Now we're on the way to Yamazato, which is the fine dining Japanese restaurant of Hotel Okura located on the second floor. Yamazato is the Japanese fine dining restaurant of Hotel Okura. They have three separate dining areas for kaiseki, sushi, and teppanyaki. Good evening. We have a reservation for three at 8.30 p.m. Lord. Each area represents Japanese aesthetics, evoking the passing of the four seasons. There are also several private dining rooms for business meetings or intimate gatherings. Thank you. Welcome to Yamazato. It's a very high ceiling restaurant, a lot of wood tones. It's quite cozy, but not so spacious, but high ceilings. And over here, they serve from their a la carte menu. They also have kaiseki sets and teppanyaki sets. But tonight, we're doing a la carte. I ordered the chirashi. Oksana ordered the grilled gindara. And for Alexandra, the tempura soba hot. And that is a uh, very nice green tea to start. From their a la carte menu, we would highly recommend everything we ordered. The tempura soba hot, chirashi sushi, and gindara saikyu yaki.
I ordered the chirashi, which is assorted sashimi over a bed of vinegared rice. So what's in here looks like tuna, salmon, mackerel, shrimp, egg, uh, and edamame, which is the boiled uh, green beans, and even some squid and unagi, which is the eel. So it comes with a little bit of soy sauce here. There's wasabi already on top. I'm just gonna add a little bit here. All right, I'm gonna start off with a piece of tuna sashimi. Oh, there's even a little bit of egg there too. It's an excellent combination of ingredients. The slice of the tuna is very thin. It's very fresh. Okay, next, salmon. Mm. Melts in your mouth like butter. That's the way it's supposed to be. Mm, even some ginger to cleanse the palate. It's a very cute chirashi bowl. I think the serving size is fine. And that is definitely high quality sashimi. I am super enjoying this. And would definitely recommend it if you are here at Yamazato. Some say that you don't know what I got, but in the sunshine it feels so easy, baby. Hey, Alexander, order the tempura soba hot. How does fine dining? Tempura compared to others. I'd say it's like so much better than the other restaurants. And it's very crispy. I definitely ordered this event. I ordered the hot saba noodle soup. It tastes like miso soup. Except, it's kind of like, even tastier. And very hot. How about noodles? Is it soft or firm? The noodles. soft they're like a bit firm a bit firm but it's okay because the soup is the soup is good I ordered real gindara it came with I cooked a little dry apricot. I think it's matching. I even bite a little bit. Mm. And put some ginger. Mm. Melt it in your mouth, literally. Such an amazing dish. It's something not to make you full, but make you feel satisfied. To make you feel that you deserve something. Very beautiful and nice. Not just stuff yourself, but enjoy. Bon appetit. I have to say that was a delicious and authentic Japanese meal here at Yamazato. I fully enjoyed my chirashi. Alexandra, what can you say about your tempura soba hot? It was so yummy and so crispy.
I wish I could do that again. Yeah. How about you? Sexy? I remember when I tried first time for the different color, but I was thinking all meat before what I ate was really and that's what I found today. All the fish what I ate before this winter was this. This is was really really something else. So moist, so tasty, so plumpy, so flaky. Perfect Yeah, I think this restaurant really shines with their quality of ingredients and attention to detail. I love the presentation of the food and the taste was incomparable. So thanks for watching our uh, dinner here at Yamazato and we're probably going to head back to the room very soon and uh, relax a bit and I'm definitely going to take a dip in that Japanese wooden tub again. Hey, you know this one? Yes, put it there. Here. Yes. Very good, Coco Why do they have all lights? That's the way I like it. So we're now chilling in bed. It's so comfy. The aircon is super cold. And we're just watching Spider-Man Far From Home on HBO. And what's amazing is that there's even a sound bar that's built in here. The room service menu is just a few clicks away on the TV. It's close to midnight and we got hungry after watching the movie, so we ordered 24-hour sous vide ribs. Room service, baby, which is open. Our last order is at 1 a.m. Oh, that looks so good. So and so enticing. And I love these cute little Tabasco bottles, which I asked for extra. This. It's gonna be a real treat before sleeping. You ready, babe? Mm -hmm. oh. Real wow. sous vide. Normally, that is like is super red. fork oh tender. It's falling off of the bone. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let me try some of this. Oh yeah, that just like so easily comes off. So it looks like marbled potatoes and some green French beans and wow, cherry tomatoes. I have a little bit of cherry tomatoes. Oh yeah. That is heavenly. That is a must order from the room service menu here. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for now. We're gonna head to bed after this. So we'll see you in the morning for breakfast. Good morning, everybody. We had a very deep, comfortable, and restful sleep last night. It's 8.30 a.m. and we just ordered our two Japanese breakfasts, which are complimentary with the room. I think that was the best option from what they had, the American, the Continental, and the Filipino, because the Japanese breakfast has salmon, rice, miso soup, and some side dishes, which looks really, really tasty. So I'm just chilling in bed right now. Alexandra's still sleeping, and I'm watching the Asian Food Network. But aside from that, I've already uh, set up our Hinoki tub once again. It takes around 20 minutes to fill up, and I'm just really enjoying this tub. So hot in here, yeah. Breakfast is gonna take another uh, 50 minutes, so in the meantime, I'm gonna use that hot tub.
Morning, Alexandra. You're finally awake. How did you sleep? I slept okay. You slept like a baby, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So, please make us some coffee. Alexandra's loving the Nespresso machine. You're so good at making coffee, huh? Just had a really hot bath. And now, our breakfast in bed is about to begin. We ordered the Japanese breakfast in bed. So this is probably the best uh, breakfast set you can get. It includes tamagoyaki, miso soup with green onions, tofu, and wakame seaweed, gratinated salmon, served with grated daikon radish, steamed spinach marinated with sesame and stewed lotus root, Japanese steamed rice, Japanese pickles, seasoned nori seaweed, and fresh fruits in season. And we have here Japanese green tea. This is like a hot water pot. And that's number two. We're gonna have quite a Japanese feast ahead of us. This is easily one of the very best five-star Japanese breakfasts I've had in a while. Look at the meticulous attention to detail in terms of the presentation and the ingredients. The miso soup was served hot and full flavored. Lots of seaweed and tofu in there. The salmon has been perfectly grilled and that's real Japanese rice. This is such a healthy plate of goodness. Oh, I'm super enjoying, guys. I'm also really enjoying all these healthy side dishes, which is the lotus root and the simmered spinach. And of course, even the Japanese eggs and the pickles. There's so many different uh, flavors and textures here. It really combined with the salmon and the rice and the miso. It's really a perfect meal. I love Japanese breakfast. For dessert, I'm down to my last pineapple, but as you can see, I have demolished everything else except for the salmon skin. And I have to say, I am so fulfilled after that meal. That was so satisfying. What'd you guys think from that breakfast? It was, you ordered two breakfasts and it was actually good for two adults and one child. We shared with Alexandra. What did you like the most, Alexandra? I like the seaweed and the salmon and rats. Nice. What can you say, babe? I like the vegetables, lotus root, and uh, pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> so that was so uh, bountiful and fulfilling that we're gonna take a little bit of a rest before heading over to the gym and the pool. Okay, now we're at the fitness center, which is located on the 11th floor, which is the roof deck uh, next to the pool. Morning. Morning. Hotel Okura Manila state-of-the-art fitness center is exclusively open for all checked-in guests. The fitness center is fully equipped with techno gym exercise machines perfect for cardiovascular and strength training.
The health club is also located on the 11th floor next to the pool and the gym, but it's still being completed. The health club is equipped with dry sauna, steam room, and therapeutic baths. The dry sauna speeds up metabolism, relieves sore muscles, while the steam room helps improve circulation. The therapeutic baths have high-quality water jets that massage various parts of the body to soothe muscle tension, resulting in reducing stress levels. Wet and dry saunas. Very nice. We're back at the pool and it's such a bright sunny day. Just chilling, relaxing. How are you guys doing? Yes, yeah, super breezy. Pool is nice and warm. And there's hardly anybody here. Still have our cabana, which is so spacious and awesome. Oh, just taking in some sun. We're so happy they granted us a late checkout at 4 p.m. So we're probably gonna chill out here, uh, think about lunch, maybe a light snack here poolside or something. We don't know just yet. To build up our appetite for lunch, I ordered a cachaça mojito and sake colada. And for lunch, we ordered a pork schnitzel and their fish and chips, which is with Alaskan Polak, not Dory. All right. Good Hi. to see you again, Renz. Good to see you again. It's a wonderful day. I'm going to create an amazing cocktail for you. All right. All right. So let's start off with our cachaça mojito. Simple there for you. Nice, fresh mint fresh leaves. And sugar cane. There you go. Of course, we're going to Madalu. So the aroma will come out. That's the important thing. Uh, that's the important thing for having a uh, refreshing cachaza mojito. Especially this sunny day. I like that you use cachaça instead of uh, rum. Cachaça is from Brazil and very hard to find in Manila, actually. Oh yes, that's the way I like it. That's a gorgeous looking bottle of sake. You're right. Interesting color to it. Is it mixed in with something? I have no idea, but yeah, it makes it unique, right? Yes, it does. Sake colada and of course your fresh pineapple juice. Fresh pineapple juice. And some pine. Sure. Oh. Yeah. 
nice. All right, so how about some ice? I want you to watch this one, all right? In three, two, one. Oh! oh. One more time. You want me to do it one more time? Sure. Okay. One more. Yes. Oh! Yeah! I built some muscles from that. There you go. I don't <laughs> have any. <laughs> Not enough gas yet. Perfect. Yeah, sack before. Yes. No dilution in there. And of course, we'll take it our garnet. We're gonna garnish it with this one. There you go. And our uh, okay. last but not the least. Hard. It's really hard. This is a bar trivia. If your shaker is locked, just knock it with your bar spoon. Uh, one, <laughs> one moment. Knock it there. And if not, go call your partner. Call a friend. There you go. Because he has more more muscles. Yeah. Okay? I ran out my energy of shaking. So I, I gotta call my friend. Go. Go strain. Of course, I'll put more ice. Thank you, Renz. And here you go. For the hour last trick. There you go. There's Perfect. And thank you very much, Renz. Right, thank you so much. Sake colada. Chasa mojito. Chasa mojito. Cheers to an awesome adventure here at Hotel Okura. Cheers. All right, Aksana's having the sake colada. I'm having the cachaca mojito. Mm. Oh wow, that's so that's really refreshing. The mojito. That's probably the best mojito I've had okay. in quite some time. Okay, I'll try some of this. Oh, that's delicious. I think that's probably even more refreshing than the mojito. That even has uh, coconut flavored sake. Very yeah. special coconut flavored sake. It's um, not sweet at all. I 
Yeah. Yeah, and you know, even the mojito, it's not overpowering, even though I asked for it extra strong. This should give us a nice appetite. Cheers, my love. So for lunch, we ordered two dishes to share. We got the pork schnitzel and the fish and chips. Pork schnitzel comes with lemon wedges, potato salad, German style with bacon, and a side salad, fish and chips. Alexandra already finished the french fries. How were they, Alexandra? They were really good. And that is Alaskan Polak. Try it, and it's beer battered. Looks really crispy. Try it with this remoulade sauce. Mm. Now that tastes just as good as it looks. Nice lemon uh, juice on top, and that remoulade sauce, delicious. How's that potato salad? Pretty nice. It's bacon. Pretty nice. I'm enjoying it. Did you try the schnitzel already? Yeah, very soft. It's a deep fried pork cutlet. It's not oily. European style breadcrumbs. So we are quite happy with uh, the dishes that we ordered for our afternoon snack. It's around 1.30 p.m. Our checkout is at 4 p.m. So we still have a little bit more time here at the poolside. Then we're gonna go back down to the room, have another dip in that special bathtub. Okay, we're back in the room. Already had a nice hot shower and already setting up our last tub experience. Yeah, baby. It's almost 4 p.m. and our Hotel Okura Manila experience is about to come to an end, but I have to say, I really had such a relaxing and unforgettable experience here and I'm definitely coming back specifically to this type of room which is the Hinoki U room which includes that Japanese uh, bathtub which was truly a must try thing to do at least once in your lifetime. Sandra's brushing her hair. We've already pretty much packed up. I really like the digital controls to everything in the room. It functioned very well. The lighting, oh, what an amazing room. And even the Japanese Toto washlet toilet, which was quite an experience if you haven't uh, tried a Japanese toilet before because the seats are heated and then you have all these other functionalities to you know, wash your underside and even dry it, even had a dryer, if you can believe it. The entertainment system here was pretty awesome with a sound bar, Panasonic 55 inch LED TV. And I even like the whole setup over here with the unlimited Nespresso. What do you think, babe? Simple room, but a lot of safety stuff. Those panels, sensible sensor panels. Very interesting. Room is very functional. 
everything up to details, everything what you need, and everything to work on for. Yeah, so it's extremely compact, but we still managed to have quite an enjoyable experience. And we're gonna, I really love the earth tones uh, in the uh, construction and design of this, you know, all the wood tones and rock walls. It's really something else. And over here on this side, it's actually gonna open up to the atrium once it's completely uh, built up. So, Alexandra, what do you have to say about Hotel Okura. I'd say it's pretty nice. I like the pool. Oh yeah, that pool, that pool was something else. Heated and a nice jacuzzi there as well. And even underwater music. Yeah, and then when it's night, there's some rainbow lights there. It's like red. Or oh yeah, it's very, it's very good for a night swim, especially since it's heated. So thanks for joining us on our Hotel Okura Adventure. Um, as I mentioned before, we're definitely looking forward to coming back, especially as soon as the health club is finished, which will have the uh, steam sauna, dry sauna, and even a hot pool. So that should be something to look forward to. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please stay safe, and we'll see you in the next episode.